Here's a little story that must be told about the master hangster that was put on hold. It's Master Hankster, and as you can see, I had a little accident uh, while I was sledding with my kids. Uh, but it'll be okay by next week, folks. Today, uh, we're just going to do some uh, basic uh, mapping to a uh, trigger finger. And basically, you can map up DJ. We're going to use some DJ software here. And if you don't have a trigger finger, you could also map it out to an M Audio key station like this one right here. You could also map it out to like Korg uh, Nano Control. So we're going to map it out to a trigger finger right here. Uh, so this is how it works, folks. It's pretty simple, and I'm going to keep this video really short. We're going to go in here, and we're going to go into uh, get out a full screen view, right? So I show my menu right there. And basically you go in here where it says MIDI right there, it says MIDI on the top. And I'm going to go, and once my trigger finger is plugged in, any MIDI device is going to show up. So my trigger finger is plugged in right now, so it's showing up here. Now it says configure, configure trigger finger, right? And here is where we do it, right? So turntable one is going to be the one here on the left. Turntable two will be on the right. Right, so so basically this is how it works, right folks? I push a button on my trigger finger and it jumps. See as you can see as I I put you can't see me pushing the button, right? But when I push it you see it jumps and it shows me what that button's doing on turntable two, right? So I set the cue points, right? To that process when I push the button I now set that that to be a, a jump to a cue point button that's basically how I set it up any button you push anywhere on a mini device it'll jump to that so that's basically how the the Vestix is already set up for you on DJ but if you're setting up a MIDI control right and I push a button right I push the button it, it jumps to what that button controls right so that now the turntable one is on my left side of my I like to keep it on my left side of my MIDI controller right so if I push it right now it tells me that turntable one and I set it to to that button to jump to cue points so I have my MIDI finger jumping on the cue points here bear with me now you know I'm trying to hold this with my Injured hand. <laughs> yeah, so now I what I did was I set these cue points. And now uh, when I go into here, it's already done, right? So when I push my, my buttons on my trigger finger, it just jump into a cue point on the song. Right? And to set your cue points, right, you go over here to this little uh, the little dot right there. And there's cue points, and here's how I set my cue points. You hit set on any part of the song, and uh, it's going to set it there. All right. So now that I got my cue points, which is the blue, green, and red dot there, I just hit this. All right. Here we go. Music, 
Now I'm going to turn on some effects here. Folks, I'm just using I'm just using cue points on the the scratch record, and the beat was just playing here. So basically, that's how I did it. Now I did this uh, little tutorial here. I hope this helps for all you people using uh, DJ. It's a cool software, and I will be bringing up some more uh, Torque 2.0 tutorials coming soon. So stay tuned to my channel. Peace. Yeah, yeah, I know, Mom. I know you saw my hand on YouTube. It's going fine. It's going to say, my mom. Yeah, it's going to be getting, it's healing up, Mom. Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be playing in the snow anymore. All right, Mom. I love you, too. Bye-bye. Thanks, -bye.